Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we're going to go green. And when I say green, I just mean green. Or in this case, we may want to say it in the French there. We're going to look at one, two, three, four, five different pens that came back on the return trip with me from Paris uh, when I was there a couple months ago now. Uh, and uh, rather than review these all individually, the reason I picked up all of these pens, which were all sold, <clears throat> by the way, as a single there, is because um, I like to write with green pens, uh, but uh, many of you share the frustration that I have is that green is often the worst performing color in most standard, inexpensive ballpoint pens. And so is there a green that really works well? Is there a green that really is green, that stands out, that is vibrant? Perhaps. Um, with one exception, all of the pens in this particular mix of green pens are BIC products, and they're all, um, all the BICs here are made in France. Not quite sure where this one came from, uh, this paper mate. You can see it's got a, I don't know, it's sort of shiny, but there's a UPC code there. And um, I bought these at one of the, um, stationary stores uh, that in the Latin Quarter area of Paris um, and so they sell all kinds of pens a uh, few pencils mostly pens and tons of paper I actually think I may have gotten this uh, Rodia um, tablet there as well uh, because there's a uh, fairly high concentration of students in this neighborhood. So um, let's take a look at these pens and let's let's get the green flowing and going, as they say. All right. So we're going to start with here is a single Bic four color pen. Uh, the orange barrel on the four colors uh, denotes that this is a fine point, uh, that the four colors, which are black, blue, red, and green, uh, are in fine. When the barrel is a blue color, uh, then they are in medium point. And of course, the four color pens, at least in Paris, are in great abundance in, in all kinds of really fun styles. Uh, they really have all sorts of special editions because a lot of people, frankly, collect them. Uh, it's hard to see here. There's an embossment. Let me see if I can put a little more light on this and focus in there. Maybe you can see. This is made in France. Right there. Okay. Bic. Um, so anyways, I picked up a Bic four color fine point, uh, but I am with, with hopes that it would write well in all four colors, including the green. So I'm only going to try the green here. So let's, let's test this out. First of all, flowing right away. How's that? Let's. You know, it's fairly smooth. I wish the green was deeper and darker than it is. Uh, but there's the big four color pen in green ink. 
Next, we've got a standard Bic crystal. And this is the medium point, 1.0. So this is a fine point. This is a 0 0.7 probably uh, on the Bic four color. This is a 1.0 Bic standard crystal, but made in France. Unlike what we generally get here in the United States, they're made in Mexico. So let's try this. Okay, well, I think you can see that the line is a bit wider, uh, as we would expect. This being a, this one being fine, this one being medium. Um, but I think you'll find, at least to my eyes anyways, that the color is pretty much the same. Now we have, this is such a uh, popular pen in France, or at least in Paris. I see them everywhere. This is the Bic M10, uh, and they make it in blue and black and red and green. Uh, these are medium point pens. They are retractable. You have the clear push button there. And then you have the little point. You can see it there in profile. Push that in and it goes back up. Uh, so there's, here we are, the Bic M10. Um, a lot of people like these pens. I think they like the fact that it's sort of got this clip here. I mean, the crystal does too, but it's embedded in the cap. This is really molded in the pocket clip. I think people like the retractable feature of the M10. So let's see how it does. Smooth writing pen, by the way. But if we're looking, I think it is a pretty safe conclusion that Bic is using the same green ink across its product line. Because really, in terms of its color and tone, I don't know. They all look the same to me. Um, the, the performance of all the big pens thus far has been pretty darn good uh, in terms of its smoothness. Smoothness. Here we have a crystal fine in green, and uh, the crystals are earmarked by the amber um, or golden translucent barrel so you know you've got a fine when you're grabbing a fine point compared to the medium point um, so really clear which is which when, when you've got a a cup full of pens uh, so here is our uh, again French made this is our Bic um, crystal fine
Now that almost looks a tad lighter, doesn't it? I'm trying to... Let's put it up here with this. This one here, because this was also a fine point on the... This was our fine point for color. Uh, sometimes the greater width of the ball point um, makes the ink look darker because there's more of it on the paper. But I think when you look at this, I think we can say it's Bic Green. Well, uh, the only other pen we've got to try here is this Papermate Inkjoy. Uh, it looks to be a medium point, 1.0 millimeter tip. Not sure where this was made. I don't believe that. I'm looking on the barrel if there's anything. I don't believe that um, Papermate makes any pens in France. I don't think it's French made like the Bix. Um, of course, the Inkjoy has a angular barrel. They're actually fairly, fairly comfortable to hold. Um, so this is the Papermate Inkjoy medium green ink okay let's see it appears to be, I don't know, is it darker? Let's do this again. Paper mate. Well, folks, you tell me. I really, whew, I would be hard pressed. Uh, I think they are real close, real close. I wish in both cases that they were a bit darker, uh, a bit more deeper, uh, more rich green um, but this is what we've got so I'll use them uh, fun souvenir fun and inexpensive souvenirs of Paris but there it is we went green uh, green ink uh, with uh, some big pens and a paper made pen all from Paris and we continue our search for the perfect green ink ballpoint. So anyways, thank you for sharing your time with me. Uh, please subscribe if you like what goes on here. Uh, you can also like and share. Leave a comment. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.